Hello and welcome to Demystifying DAX episode 2 with James from Matador Software. In today's video, I'm going to demonstrate how we can group client types and highlight data in an instant using DAX if and switch measures. I previously spoke about the importance of writing clear and structured DAX code, so I'll also show you how to display comments within your DAX. This will provide ease of collaboration with others. A lot of content to cover in six minutes, so let's get started. So the first measure we're going to create is we're going to create client groupings dependent on the customer's spend. So we would assume that over a certain value, they'd be high priority. And of course, as we get to lower values, the priority of this customer will then go down into a medium or a lower priority. So we're going to use if statements, conditional statements within DAX, and we're going to look at how we can insert rows into our table that we already have detailing this and then we'll break it down and look at how we can use comments so that people can follow this DAX code very clearly. Okay so the syntax is pretty clear here we're saying if the sum of a company's spend is over 10,000 for example they become a high priority customer so we insert that text string in the row against this customer. We do the same with under 5,000. We use a low priority and we'll insert that string in, in the same row as the corresponding customer. And what we're gonna do here at the end, we're just gonna add in a medium priority string. And this is the else part of our statement. So we say, if a certain value, they're high priority, if a certain value, they're low priority, and anything else, we're going to make the medium priority. And I'll highlight this with the comments that are to follow. So previously we commented how we can write or construct our DAX code to make it easy to follow. We've done that so far anyway, but another way that we can add value when we're writing DAX is to add comments. This means that if other people were to collaborate, they'd be able to very clearly follow our train of thought and not waste any time. Um, I did hear a good quote once that said we should assume that whoever's reading our code after us is a violent sociopath. So what we want to do is naturally we want to please them and we want to make our code very clear and comments is a great way of doing this. So within DAX we have methods for one line comments which would be two forward slashes or two dashes and we also have multi-line comments which are made up of forward slashes and asterisks. I know things are different. I just want to kiss you. Hold me for a moment. Times are changing. It won't stop raining. Every single teardrop creates another shockwave. Baby, do you miss me? Our next measure focuses on using a switch function in order to conditionally format our payment status. So instead of using nested if statements, sometimes it's more convenient and efficient to use a switch statement. So we'll look at how we can do that and then we'll enable the conditional formatting. I know things are different. I just want to kiss you. Hold me for a moment. Times are changing. It won't stop raining. Every single teardrop creates another shockwave. Baby, do you miss me? I know things are different. I just want to kiss you. Hold me for a moment. Times are changing. So we created the measure and we enabled conditional formatting. However, we noticed that completed correctly shows us green, but in progress, Power BI doesn't recognize the color amber, so we'll change that to orange, and there we go. People can clearly see 
the status of payments. They can look at this by high priority, low priority and medium priority customers. And we can introduce a slicer in order to look at this in more detail and also how this corresponds to our scatter chart. So we give our end users the power very clearly to look at some powerful insights and it's very rigid and there's not much room for error on our end user's side. To recap, we looked at comments within DAX, we've looked at the if and the switch functionality within DAX, and we've used this and brought this full circle and allowed our users to view some powerful data very quickly. And as Power BI would say, we want to allow our end users to make data-driven decisions in an instant, and through the power of DAX, I believe we've been able to do that. As usual, if you like this content or find it helpful, please like, subscribe, comment and share. Thank you.